Drivers, start your engines. What's going on guys, Blowover Bros here, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Cup Series, Season 5, Race Number 18, the third of the 10 scheduled chase races. Before we get into it, I want to apologize what I'm about to say, I want to apologize if you guys hear people in the background. As you guys know, I live in the loudest freaking house, and everybody got home as soon as I hit record. So, yeah, I apologize for that. Anyways... Your top 10 go Nathan Stapleton and Chaser Brad Stover, Adam Akers and Joseph Rakowski. Adam dominated last week and got screwed by no time caution. Yeah, Jay Jefferson and Dalton Riley. Oh, wrong way. Evan Byrne and TJ Friend and Samet Oskin and Eli Bright. Your top five in points go Hunter Spartan, nine points ahead. Uh, Mo Akers, nine points back. Or Max Anderson, nine points back. Mo Akers, 12 back. Logan Cladell, 14 back. And Alvin Summers, 21 back. All the way down to Adam Akers in points. Out of acres and points, he's ninth and he's 43 back, nearly a full race. Um, and then Brad Stover, Nick Concher, and Isaiah Ford are all one full race back, so they need to have a good run here today. Here we go for Phoenix 47 laps. Hopefully, this race is as good as yesterday's was or two days ago as was in the amateur series. Green flag is out. If you didn't watch the amateur series race, we had the closest finish in Blover Bros history, and we had like one caution already, so it was a good race. Oh, and Brad or Adam Akers making it three wide for the lead. Oh, Brad Stover just got shafted hardcore right there. He just lost a ton of spots. The outside lane gets a really good runoff for, so Adam's going to want to clear that 14. Oh, my gosh. What a power move by that five car. He will lead lap number one from third position. And they're three wide in second, or four second. I don't see that working out very well. The 13, oh, the 15 squeezes the 14 into the wall. It goes 13, 14, 15, all three wide. That's pretty swagadelic. Adam did the smart thing, taking the outside to three and four. He's going to get a nice run off four. Okay, I didn't know if he was actually going to get the run. He wants to have that 13 cleared, though. Oops. We've seen the inside car slide up, thinking they're clear, and wreck the car on the outside. Adam Akers didn't even try fighting back. He knows what's at stake. He led the lap. He got the bonus point. He can drop back and just race calm now. As Jay Jefferson leads. It's really good seeing that 13 car up in the front. I apologize for that in the background. Good seeing that 13 car up battling for the lead, though. Jay Jefferson's had a terrible season. Joseph Rakowski and Trey by Adam. Look, almost door slammed him. That was really close. Spectator view. See the entire pack of cars. Oh, wrong button. As, oh, Joseph Rakowski trying to take the lead. He did not lead that lap, but it was super close. Adam had a back out of it. I don't know if he thought they were going to wreck each other or what, but. I apologize. Dude, we're babysitting my little cousin, and I already have three little kids that live here, so there's four little kids here right now, and it is super loud. But I have to record this right now. So I sincerely apologize. Everyone's pretty much migrated to the outside. Adam Maker's trying to work the cautions out. It is out. Okay. So we'll be right back. See what just happened. Not what Chaser Isaiah Ford wants to see. He came into this race last in points. And Dylan Ian, the one, just not giving any room. Isaiah hit kind of hard there. Max Anderson got a slight piece. I don't know if Nick Flood got anything. A pretty minuscule crash, but... Kind of watching Nick Flood. He's running in 29th position. You can see the wreck happening up there. His team at Isaiah Ford gets pinned into the wall. And everyone else avoided it. We'll be back for the restart. Pace car's getting ready to pull off. Coming to lap 10. Nobody DNF'd off that wreck. Nobody pit either. So no one trying to do the strategy. Green flag is out. The restarts at this track have been known to be super crazy. Guys trying to dive bomb and get underneath each other and sliding up and causing big ones. So they're keeping an eye on the field. Luckily, everybody's kept a single file. Pretty good move. Ryan Kesey having a really good run. He's going to have to challenge up for the top five. I don't think we've seen that ever. Good for him. He's fighting for a job. He announced a couple weeks ago he is not returning to Penske. He's been with them since season four. So this is his second season with them. Oh, and Adam Akers moving J. Jefferson up the track. That was a dirty door slam. 
Will we see any sorts of retaliation? Adam is not here to play any games. He said last week after the race he got screwed out of a win because, quote-unquote, guys don't know how to drive. They went through amateur way too quick, got a cup ride that they don't deserve, and bring out Rex and he said can't keep it green anymore. So he ain't taking any chances today. He's going back up to the lead past Joseph Rakowski. And here comes Ryan Kesey working his way into the top five. He's going to try to go to fourth here. He got it. Really good seeing Kesey have a good run. This is the site of the Kesey family's only career Call of Duty Cup Series win. Kyle Kesey won in a photo finish here against Isaiah Ford last season. So, could we see a photo finish today? We seen one in the amateur race the other day. As the battle for the lead continues, hopefully they don't slide up and kill each other. Give each other plenty of room. One's in the chase, one's not. You're both the fastest cars on track right now. That's Dalton Riley apparently has the fastest lap. Oh, the 15 got loose on the bottom, and Adam with a huge run off turn four. Lap 15 now. And... Little, little sister person's crying. Oh, and Joseph Rakowski squeezes Adam into the wall. That car is destroyed. I think that's going to kill Adam's chances of winning. That car is incredibly off pace. I apologize for people being so loud at some door, though, if you hear that. But Adam, I don't know if that car is actually that much off pace. It's really destroyed. We'll be back to see what just happened. All right, we're watching the leaders, Adam Akers, Joseph Rakowski. Joseph drove it in super deep, hoping he could do a slide job, and Adam was just too far alongside him. And that just, I don't know how much that hurt Adam, because Kesey really didn't gain too much on Akers that last half a lap. Oh, Joseph got hit head on. Nathan saved, oh, Ke Joseph saved it. Oh, Brad Stover's in it. Huge championship implications. We talked about it earlier. Oh my god. I am so sorry, guys. Brad is already super bad in points. Oh, hard hit. Logan Claudell is in it. Max Anderson. Oh my god. Bullet Bill is upside down. Nick Ventura is in it. I see Isaiah Forward. So many chasers were just in that. Mo Akers got in it as well. Even if Adam is off pace, he's going to gain points because everybody just died. Was Alvin Summers in it? That was quite possibly one of the biggest strikes we've ever seen. Alvin was in it. Oh my gosh. Luciana Reese was in it. Oh my god, dude. I have the loudest family. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but oh my god. There's only one person. Was Nick Flood in it? There he is. It's the only chaser we haven't seen. He was running back in 30th. I, uh, I, I sent it back a lot further than I should have. God, she's so loud. All right, let's see. Did Nick Flood get through it? Oh, my God. He is so lucky. He just went from 30th. He just went from 30th. To, oh, he had a pit, up naturally. 30th to 11th. Oh, my God. We'll be back for the restart. Coming to the green. Nick Flood, last car on the lead lap. Look who retired. Your points leader, Hunter Spartan, 42nd. Bullet Bill, 40th. Al <laughs> Alvin Summers, 39th. Brad Stover, 36th. Max Anderson, 33rd. Isaiah Ford, 29th. Nick Ventura, 28th. Oh, my gosh. Um, Lucy Henry's 22nd, two laps down. Logan Claudel, 20th. And Nick Flood, 17th right now, last car on the lap. Adam Akers is your leader, but he's damaged. So we will see if he can continue and actually, you know, be up to speed. This was a huge tournament. We're not even halfway through, so there could still be another big wreck. I pray that there's not. Everybody did pit under that caution, by the way. 
As right now the battle is the latest between Adam Akers and Jay Jefferson. I don't know if Adam's able to hold off Jay as as uh, damaged as he is. Oh, they're wrecking. I hear it. Oh, that's Amy Ashley and Eli Bright. Jay Jefferson in the lead. Here comes Ryan Kesey. Could you imagine if Kesey or uh, Jefferson or even Ryan Madden got their first career wins here? Caution is no doubt out. Jay Jefferson's going to lead him back. Ryan Kesey up to second. What is going on in this race? We'll be right back to see what just happened. Wait, if Caution's out. Is Caution not out? Wow, it's not. Okay, good thing I didn't cut. That was... I don't know how they caught you out. They were spinning and... Oh, well. Jeff, uh, Ryan Kesey going for the lead. Ryan Madden trying to get by Adam Akers. Lap 23 of 47. Jay Jefferson lead trying to get by Larry Arnold, the lap car. Oh, my God, if you hear them. Oh my god, they are so freaking loud. It's pissing me off. I'm sorry, guys, if you hear them. It's the only time I ever record. Jay Jefferson trying to get by Larry Arnold, the lap car. Will Ryan Kesey, Ryan Kesey capitalize? Don't count out Ryan Madden. So many guys we haven't talked about like at all this season. Keon Eddington, Evan Byrne. They're up in contention. Adam Akers is right now 7th, but don't count him out. If one little screw up happens up here, he's the next car in line. He's in the chase, so it's actually good for him to back off. There's so much racing left, and these guys are racing like their careers depend on it. Remember, if you're not in the top 35 at the end of the season, you are not eligible to run in Cup next season. You have to go down to amateur and trucks, or just one of both, or one or both, up to you, but you cannot sign up for the Cup Series with that driver. Race of Mitchell up to 8th. And then Muhammad Zane and uh, Cullen Francis round out your top 10. Rebecca Tyler 11th. Mo Akers chugging along in 13th. Nick Flood 18th. So the points are going to look so dang different. So right now Ryan Kesey and Ryan Madden. Two veterans of the series but neither of them have a win right now battling it out with 21 laps to go. Oh, there's contact. Oh, my gosh. That could have been disastrous. Ryan Kesey's going to get back in line. I think he might have scraped the wall, too. I can't tell. Here comes Samet Can He was your Talladega winner this season. Out of the top five. Um, there's only... Well, actually, hang on. If the 10 takes fifth position. All right. Out of the top five, only one driver has uh, a Call of Duty Cup Series win, and that's Samet Oskin from Talladega. Keon Eddington, last season's champion. Ryan Madden going, or Ryan Kesey going back to lead past Ryan Madden. Ryan Madden got the runoff uh, for Luciana Reese, a lapped car up here. This is such an insane race. What a battle between the 17 and the 12. Two guys really hungry for that first career win. It seems like they've been here forever and neither of them have won. But we've talked about it before. Adam Akers been here since season one in that five car. He has never won a Call of Duty Cup Series race. Could today be his lucky day? It's going to take a couple wrecks for him to get that. Oh, Lucian Reese and Ryan Kesey almost made contact. Kesey has the lead. Can he run away with it? They all have to pit one more time. I'm almost certain of that. Lucian Reese, Chaser, letting everyone by. Right now she's out there trying to complete laps, hoping so they wreck some more. Coming into today, she was 6th in points, 29 back. And with the points leader um, wrecked out and in last place, I reckon she'll gain some. On him, at least. I don't know if he'll still be the points leader leaving the race. Adam Akers right now, highest running chaser, chugging along in 8th. The 33 is a lapped car. Jay Jefferson starting to drop back. Worn tires are not good for his car. Ryan Madden starting to lose places as well as here comes some Matt Oskin. They have more lap traffic up there, but not anytime soon. Some Matt Oskin ride Madden crash. Oh my god, how did Adam Akers just get through that? Colin Francis, oh Lucian Reese, Rebecca Tyler, Joseph Rakowski. 
Dylan E, does Nick Flood make it through? Oh my god, he did. What is going on with this race? We'll be right back, see what just happened. Honestly, as crazy as this race was, you cannot blame neither Smet Oshkin or, or uh, Ryan Madden. Both drivers towards the end of the race battling it out for second place. They're not usually in a position like this, especially this season, so you can't blame either one. That was just wasn't quite clear. And then, oh my gosh, Adam Akers, how lucky can you get in one race? And that Playtech Chevy is destroyed. This is absolutely insane. We're going to go on board that number five quick and lone Chevy. I apologize you're crying. His entire championship hopes could have went out the window had he have made contact. Absolutely insane, dude. I want to watch the 33 because he had a car underneath him for a good part of that. Oh, God, I can't stop. All right, watch it, Larry Arnold. God, that's so crazy, man. Up into Cohen Francis, and then just on top of Muhammad Zayn. Oh, and Muhammad made contact into the outside wall again after that. And we'll be back for the restart. Missed the green flag due to people crying outside my door, but lap one is now complete. People retired off that wreck. Um... Luciana Reese, Larry Arnold, Samet Oskin, Joseph Rukowski, Ryan Madden, Dylan E. Cole, and Francis. So, your top 10, I guess, go Ryan Kesey, Keon Eddington, Jay Jefferson, Evan Byrne, Brayson Mitchell, Nick Flood is a lap down. Then you got Adam Akers, Eli Bright, who was involved in a spin earlier that didn't bring out a caution inside the top 10. Mo Akers somehow 8th, Rebecca Tyler somehow 9th, and I don't know who's 10th. Larry Arnold, or who is 10th? Uh, Ruby Cladell. So, watching the race. Less than 10 laps to go now. Ryan Kesey leads. Keon Eddington second. Jay Jefferson right there. I thought I seen the caution light on. Adam Akers honestly does not need to put himself in, in risk. He just needs to let these guys go. You know he wants a battle for the win, but that car is not as quick as it was. And he got screwed last week. Oh, not again, not again, not again. Ryan Kesey dumps Keon Eddington. Jay Jefferson's in it. Blah, 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 blah. Jay Jefferson's in it. I don't know if that's going to be a caution. Caution lights are not on. Brayson Mitchell is your leader, I think. Ryan Kesey, man, he was going for it. What a cluster of a race. Brayson Mitchell leads now. He's another driver that was contemplating retirement this season. Been here since season one. Two-time Call of Duty Cup Series winner. And... There's no caution. And now he leads at Phoenix. His last win was the Texas Chase Race last season. The 8 has pretty good damage to the right side. Adam Akers somehow in 4th place in that Chevy. That car is destroyed. As now, I think there's 9 cars remaining. Keon Eddington is officially out. If y'all manage to wreck now, I swear. There's no caution. Chris Mitchell leads. Eli Bright second. Adam Akers going to third past uh, Evan Byrne. Don't count off that five car, man. I know it's beat up, but he was so fast in the early stages. This top five, who would have guessed this would be your top five? I know this race has been a cluster F, and I know it's been a wreck fest, but my God, this is hilarious. Nick Flood somehow in 10th, one lap down. What is life right now, bro? Oh, my God. Could we see a first-time winner in Adam Akers or Evan Byrne or Jay Jefferson? Eli Bright is the Season 4 Daytona 500 winner. That's his only career Call of Duty Cup Series win. Brace Mitchell, as I mentioned, a two-time Call of Duty Cup Series winner. Adam Akers, Jay Jefferson, Evan Burton have never won. Mo Akers won it in... Where did he win this year? Did Mo win the Phoenix race at the beginning of the season? I think he did. Coming to three laps to go. If there's a caution now, it is no doubt over. Jay Jefferson battling with Adam Akers for third. On the bright side now, if you wreck each other, you know you're probably going to get a top 12. That doesn't mean just wreck each other, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Was that payback from when Adam door slammed Jay at the beginning of the race? 
Somehow, Ruby Claudel is still on the lead lap, man. She is so off pace. A 26.40 was her last lap. A 25.19 was Grayson's last lap. Two to go this time by. Does Jay Jefferson have enough time? A lap and a half to go here at Phoenix. The battle for a second is real. If y'all stay side by side for too long, that's going to hand the win to the 11. White flag is out here at Phoenix. After the race we have, can you believe this race is going to end under green? It's going to be really hard for them to catch him now. Just don't wreck yourself for a second. Oh, okay. I was about to say you had one job. Jay Jefferson up to second. You know Adam Akers really wants to get by that 8 car or the 13. That's another point that he would have in his arsenal. Coming at a turn number four, Brayson Mitchell is a three-time Call of Duty Cup Series winner. Okay, I'm just saying, that was probably one of my favorite Call of Duty Cup Series races ever. That was hilarious. Oh my gosh, what a race. <laughs> oh my goodness. Brayson Mitchell wins it, Jay Jefferson second place, Eli Bright third, Adam Akers fourth, and Evan Byrne fifth. If you would have told me that would have been your top five, I would have said you are tripping on acid. Oh my gosh, what a race. Now let's go look at your official results. Alright, your top, uh, I guess we'll do top 12 because that's all that's remaining. Is Brayson Mitchell, Jay Jefferson, Eli Bright, Adam Akers, your highest finishing chaser. Evan Byrne rounds out your top 5, then chaser Mo Akers 6th, Rebecca Tyler 7th, Ryan Kesey, I think that might be his career best finish in 8th. Ruby Claudel 9th, and Nick Flood, chaser in 10th. You got TJ Hanley and Muhammad Zayn. Notables outside the top 12. Um... Lucy in a recent 20th. Logan Claudel 22nd or 23rd. Nick Ventura 28th. After if, uh, if I have to scroll down to find a chaser, that was a terrible points day. Isaiah Ford 29th. Uh, Max Anderson 33rd. Brad Stover 36th. Alvin Summers 39th. Bullet Bill 40th and Hunter Spartan dead last in 42nd. Oh my goodness, the points are gonna look insane after this. Honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was an insane race. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. He said, boy, can you make fans stand and scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into Big Lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you daytona bound, let me warn you, you're in for a ride.